Hey out there, Slot Car Land. How's everybody doing this fine, fine weekend? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody has caught the uh, the bi-weekly featured car from last week and the uh, channel update. And don't forget, don't forget about the giveaway. If you guys haven't entered yet, uh, we'll probably be closing that on Wednesday uh, of next week. So uh, keep that in mind. Go watch the video. Do what you need to do to get involved. And... Uh, a lot of great stuff there that we're giving away in that giveaway, so go check it out. So, uh, today we're going to be doing the TFX review. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get this guide pin in here without breaking it. Uh, everybody I've talked to says it's kind of hard to get in, so we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully, it'll go in and we won't have any issues. So, this is the, uh, as it equipped right now, this is the 16.5 ohm armature car with a 19 tooth rear gear. And I have purchased the 15 tooth rear gear as well, so we can we can put it in and compare between the two and all that good stuff. I've also got some cars lined up here, um, a stock T-Jet, a old style Auto World car or uh, Johnny Lightning, the new Auto World version, and a Mondo Grip chassis. Checked all of these against this on the downforce meter. Granted, these two, the the Auto World and the Mondo Grip have have uh, traction magnets. We'll have to keep that in mind as we're doing the downforce meter test on it. But uh, we'll go from there. We've also got the dyno out. We're going to put this car on the dyno with both the 19 tooth, uh, excuse me, the 19 tooth rear gear and the 15 and see what it turns on the dyno as well. So we'll get the camera down and we'll get this out of the package and we'll see if we can't get that uh, guide pin installed and we'll go from there. Let's see. Oh, here we go. get it out of the package so as you can see on these they've got this big square gap on here and that's where these the uh, guide pins go in rather than having it tied to the um, post where where you mount the car so it makes it a little bit easier it keeps a guide pin in the car and uh, all of that stuff so let's see are we so we're gonna have to change the wheelbase on this car um, you know what? We'll run the okay. We'll run the we'll run the we'll run the Mustang body on it for the test on the track. So let's see if we can't get this in. So the tiny little tabs go to the front. Might need a slightly smaller headed screwdriver. That one's a little too wide. Oh, well, boom, bing, bang, boom. All right, I guess it is not that hard. So it is in. So now let's get our, I almost forgot, we gotta trim the guide pin on this, so we need our. We need our guide pin trimmer. If you run T-Jets or, or, or anything of this sort, Auto Worlds, Mondo Grips, anything T-Jet related, this comes in really handy for guide pins. You should pick one up. This is from Scale uh, Electric or Scale Engineering. The TGT6. I think he's changed this since I got mine. But uh, these come in real handy. Has a .110, uh, .110 to a .17. We usually run at a 0.15 with our guide pins. That's a good uh, spot for both uh, <coughs> for both uh, Tomei track and the tub tracks and the, uh, the the Bowman tracks. As you can see, it is sticking out of there really long. So these are really, really long guide pins all right so there we go all installed all cut down ready to rock and roll all right so now let's get the downforce meter out let's see what this baby turns on the downforce meter looks like a 4.2 on the downforce meter
come on. Yeah, 4.2 on the downforce meter. Now compare that to a stock T-Jet where we're, oh, you know what? You know what, something else we should check. Let's check the fray car just to, just to give a, a reference. So, so you can see a T, this one anyways, my stock T-Jet's at a 1. Uh, my fray car, so these are uh, killer B magnets in this car. So you can see there's a 6.8 with the killer Bs. 6869 six, 667 six, so not quite as stout as a killer B magnet uh, your original Johnny Lightning oh this doesn't have a guide pin in it and this particular one doesn't even turn a 1.8 so that's not really comparison so the new giant auto world cars with with the traction magnet so six seven with that and the mondo grip car about a six four so there's your comparison with your uh with your your downforce meter so we're doing doing about a four one so about in between a in between a stock T-Jet and a fray car with killer bees in it. So, that's kind of where you stand there. So, let's, uh, let's take this get the dyno over here. There we go. So remember, this is with the 19 tooth rear gear in it. Let it run here for a little bit. Looks like we're up into the 180s. So it looks like about a 182 when it's calm. 183, kind of calm it down a little bit. With the 19 tooth rear gear in it. So let's pop that out. Let's pop in off. Oh, look at there. So with the 15 tooth rear gear in it, you're up over two. So about a two, is that 215? So that, that makes a big difference in, in In, uh, on the dyno anyways so that's just crazy all right so let's uh so I think we'll leave this in and I'll get a body mounted on this bad boy and let's take this to the racetrack and let's see what this car turns lap time wise on the racetrack so uh we'll meet you uh, over at the track so now we're over here at the track let's see what we can turn with this car we're going to be green as usual remember this is a 15 tooth gear in the car right now
taste, even a little hard. Just off an observation. lengthening it by three feet which I think is going to happen and we'll have to show you guys that on the channel as well <laughs> 715 car seems to be coming alive I do I will have to say, I'm not impressed with the tires. They do seem to pick up a lot of dust. But when they're clean, they, they get some good grip. It could be too that they're not, they're brand new and we're still uh, Still, uh, you know, got to get worked in and whatnot uh, for being brand new. All right, well, let's, uh, let me change out this rear end. Let's put the 19 tooth back in and let's see. Let's see what it does with that.
seven four. So three tenths off. So all in all, I'm impressed. I like it. It's a fast car. It seems smooth. It seems uh, very stable. I will have to say, I'll have to knock it a point on tires. Um, on the rear, they seem kind of hard. We'll have to see what we can uh, mess around with on this car. Alright, uh, with tire wise, and see if we can't find some, uh, some tires that will fit these hubs. I'll have to go, I'll have to look at one stop slot shop and see if they sell tires different tires for this car. I love to see these companies, companies like One Stop Slot Shop and Jag Hobbies coming out with these newer, new chassis and stuff, trying to keep the hobby going, get more people involved. So it looks like a one, a 7158 with the 15 tooth is gonna be our fast lap with this car. And the shoes seem to be riding a little bit on the nose, so we'll have to adjust those a little bit if we can't get a little more out of it. But as just a trial review right out of the package, just oil it up really good. Throw a body on it. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, take this back to the desk and uh, we will uh, we'll, uh, wrap this little uh, review up and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so great, great car. I, I love this thing. I think these are great. I love One Stop Slot Shop for coming out with these. Um, we're, we're definitely going to be revisiting this car down the road. Uh, we'll do some tuning on it. Maybe, hopefully, maybe find some different rear tires for this car. To uh, maybe get it to where it's not quite... Gets some more grip. As you can see, it picks up... These tires pick up dust really bad. I even wiped the track down before we, we, before we started doing the time on the track. So it... They picked up a lot of dust so but outside of the tires i think it's great i think it's cool that they got you've got different options for the rear end and you can just snap them in and out just like the uh just like the newer cars the newer uh inline motor cars so that's a great thing to have and um they you got a wide range of colors and wheels on these and all kinds of stuff so don't 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 um if you've been thinking about it don't hesitate go to one stop slot shop pick one of these up um, pick up a couple if you want to have some have some IROC cars or whatever, but great car. I love it So uh, very very cool way to go one stop slot shop very cool car So definitely we will definitely be revisiting this car down the road doing some tuning on it And like I said, hopefully finding some other rear tires see if we can't do some experiments with that and Maybe putting it up against some other cars and whatnot. So very cool. Don't forget to check out the giveaway video like I said uh, in the front of the video, we're probably going to uh, cut the date off on that on Wednesday. And then we'll be having the drawing probably on Saturday. So be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to check out the last bi-weekly feature car. And don't forget to check out the uh, update video uh, that was also posted the channel update. And uh, go back and watch some of the racing from this past season. I'm still working on two races from the last race of the season, by the way, just to let you know. Um, they may pop up in the uh, down the road in the middle of the week or whatever. I'm not in a big hurry to finish those. Uh, I've got a lot of other stuff going on right now with it being spring and everything else. So so uh, and and getting back to regular regularly scheduled videos. So those will eventually be up. So be on the lookout for those. And uh, don't forget to catch next week. Next week we'll be doing another bi-weekly feature car. So don't forget to check that out. And uh, after that, um, we may be back on a 3x5 build. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I want I still got to buy the MDF for that, but hopefully we'll get to that. If not, then we'll have something else scheduled in two weeks. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. Continue to, and remember, and remember to keep that pin in the slot, the wheels on the downside. Keep racing slot cars. Keep having fun. Don't forget to go visit slotcarcrazy.com as well. 
Um, I do believe One Stop Slot Shop is listed on there too, so you can get there from there. Uh, don't forget to check out the uh, merch store as well. You can get there from the YouTube channel or from SlotCarCrazy.com as well. Um, I'm working on some new shirts. One of them is pending right now. Hopefully, this is like the third attempt on getting this shirt up. Hopefully, it'll pass this time, so be on the lookout for that. And I've got a couple others in the works too, so be on the lookout for those as well. Hopefully, they'll be up here really soon too. So, uh, so don't forget to check those out and uh, just keep on having fun and keep racing slot cars. And we will catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Bye.